What's going on guys? Welcome back. It is Monday. Hope you've all had a good week. Got a whole bunch of good stuff this week. I've had quite a lot of good luck over the last few days, to be honest. I don't know where to start. I got a whole bunch over here. I got a few things off to the side here, which is actually, the ones off to the side here are pretty, pretty strange, so you have to wait for that. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the usual, usual routine. Go from the box, then go for the piles on the side. So, first off, what do we got? Ah yes, the brand new Ford GT40 in the Golf livery with some really nice golden wheels. Very cool looking car this one. I'm not going to open this one just yet. I'm going to wait until I get another one of these because that's too cool and it will go with my golf my golf collection that I've got. Next, there is a car here we can open. There's some cars at the back we can open, don't worry. Next is the new regular treasure hunt. The Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300 in the SWAT livery. And you can see the little Circle Flame logo on the police badge. That's very cool. Got blue wheels as spare wheels. Strange. Police on the front there. Very cool casting. Nice card art from the Hot Wheels Metro series. Next, as you can see, we do have two of these. Very lucky to find these. So we're gonna open one of these. Which one will we open? Uh, we'll just open the top one, I guess. The 1989 Porsche 944 Turbo in red from the Porsche series. Wow, I only just noticed that. That's cool. I'm going to look forward to the, the new Porsche series, that's for sure. Wow. Very cool. Not too sure what case these ones are from. You can uh, read that if you really want. Yeah, not too sure what the case is for this one. I haven't actually seen it online anyway yet. So. Wow, cool. That is very nice. So you have your Porsche logo on the front there, your blinkers and some little fog lights, nice detail on the front, very cool, very cool. Even has rear painted details plus turbo written on the back. And a stethoscope. Uh, I don't know, is this like a doctor's car or something? That that's that's weird. Why is there a stethoscope in the back there? Hmm. If anybody knows the answer to that, please let me know. I am quite confused. Does this one have a Yep. Yeah. It appears to have a stethoscope also. How weird. How weird is that? Moving on, getting to another Porsche. This is the Porsche 917LH, also from the Porsche series I've just seen. In blue with green flames, tribal flames possibly, number three. That's so cool. That's cool, I like that. There you go, wow. I'll try and get another one to open that because that'll stay as it is for the time being. And the last car of the Hot Wheels selection is the recolor of the Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo from the Porsche series. This being white. Got some pretty clean paintwork on this one. There was a few on the shelf, but this was literally the only one which had good paintwork. I'm not too sure why. I was lucky to get one. I'll keep hunting those. I'll find another shop because these, for some reason, these aren't very popular in my area. They're quite, quite often to find the original one for that, the grey one as well. And up next, we're going to start opening stuff. Yes, now we have an Australian ex exclusive. This is our 1-3 cabs taxi. 
That's the phone number. You dial 13 cabs and you get a, cab, a taxi cab out to your house. These are very cool. These are Australian exclusive vehicles, which are extremely cool. There's the phone number, all the details and everything on the back there. If anyone overseas wants to prank call anybody, there you go, there's a phone number. That's very cool. This is the Toyota Hi Ace. Maxi Taxi. See if it says anything on the back there that we can read. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Talking about opening things. There we go. Very nice in white book with the 13 Cabs app in Australia. That's all perfectly doable for us. We can do all of that. I'm not too sure if anybody overseas has the ability to use Australian apps. Hmm. Wheels a bit squashed in this. There we go. Perfect. Look at how many seats are in there. That's so cool. Let's see if we have anything written on the bottom. Nope, just says Toyota High Ace. But very cool. Very, very cool. And the other one is a Toyota Camry Altis or Toyota Corolla Altis. There we go. Nice in black. Once again, has all the numbers on there. Here's the phone number, Toyota badge on the back, nice details. They're all completely detailed, which is fantastic on these. I think they're well worth the $6. 13 on the front. And on the back, the base we have Toyota Corolla Altis. 161 scale. But very cool. I had no idea that they were available until about a week or two ago. Next, we'll go one at a time. What do we got? Ah, yes. Limited edition. Zamac style Porsche or raw Porsche 911 GT3 RS. It's very cool. When I was at the shops, they had the, the entire range of the cars there, all of these limited edition ones. But the only one I really liked was this one and the, uh, the Dodge Challenger. But the Dodge Challenger didn't actually have any uh, decent details. It was all really smudged, so I had to leave it behind. But here we go. Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Lensed headlights. Porsche logo. Bits of painted detail on the front there. Nice cool gold wheels. Giant spoiler. Nicely detailed. De nicely detailed rear end there as well. And as... We all like with Majorette, opening features. Love that. One of my favorite, favorite things about Majorette is the fact that they still do good quality opening feature vehicles. Next, we have the Porsche 918 Spyder. This is from the Racing Cars series. And what year was this one released? Do, 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 do. I'll have to just look at the base. Just give me a second. No. Quickly just look at the base, sorry. I know you're all excited to see what... 2017. Okay. So it is the old casting. That orange is very orange here. Because that is orange. It's not supposed to be red, which has just gone dodgy on my camera. It is actually orange, but it looks very, very orange on this. Very cool. All light details. Has Porsche 918 Spider on the rear. Cool white wheels. Lens headlights. Logos on the front. Very nice. Nice and clean. I do quite like that. And up next. Yes, it's another Porsche. But this is the Porsche 934. 
in kind of like a really light baby blue style color. And this is really, really cool. I had to go all the way into the city, all the way into Sydney City the other day. So when I was there, I took advantage of it. I went to a shop which I knew had a lot of majorettes. And as you can see, I came home with quite a few. And this was one of the ones I was actually able to get. Lens headlights, nice logo on the front. Black bumper with your uh, indicator lights in there as well. Very cool. These wheels don't look that bad either. They're a bit of blue coming through the black trim there, but that's fine. Nice. Nice interior. Nice details on the back there. Completely detailed everywhere. That is really a nice car. I might have to go back. I oh, should know. It's a two hour it's a two and a half hour drive to go to the shop to get these. So I don't think I'll be going back anytime soon, but if I do, I definitely want to try and get another one of these. That is nice. And the last car in the mystery box. I know there wasn't very many cars in the mystery box, but I hope the quality was what kept you kept you entertain, entertained today. This is the Toyota Celica GT Coupe in bright yellow. This is the first time I've actually seen this model available. It's got good weight to it too. I love those classic colours. This whole car is completely correct as far as I'm, I'm aware. Because we, I grew up with these in my neighbourhood. Also in this colour with these kinds of stripes along the side. But that is really cool. Really cool. I do like my classic classic cars and because of my generation this is a classic car it's even got details on the door wow never noticed that very cool It'd be better if it was right hand drive though but that's just me next we have piles which one would we do first hmm let me just move that stuff out of the way all right i've already shown this on my channel before. I've been meaning to get around to be doing a review and obviously I haven't but this is a Coffee Cruisers 5 pack complete with all of your favorites including the Sapphire Gem. When I was at the store a couple of days ago found another Coffee Cruisers, five pa uh, Coffee Cruisers 3 pack. Can anybody tell me the difference? Why is this chocolate van in here. That's all I'd like to know. Oh, I thought that it was supposed to have the hearse in the three pack. Don't worry, I'm not complaining because I actually really did want this. This is the uh, the Austin Mini panel van. I really, really did want that. So if somebody did try and swap out a car, I don't care. They gave me an even better one and I get two extras of cars that I really like also. So stay tuned for the review slash error review, who knows what I'd call that episode, on the Coffee Cruisers. And let's go on to the pile of, let's go over here to this big pile of stuff. Yes. Almost got the whole set of super fast cars. I'm just looking for the white Volkswagen with the gold wheels now. So hopefully I'll be able to find that. It's very hard to find. These green ones are absolutely everywhere. Found a shop which is selling green light. It's the first time I've been able to find green light in a long time. Ever since Toys R Us closed down. This did cost me like $13 but I thought it was really nice. Nice little display. Not too sure whether I actually want to open this one. If I do I'm just going to cut it open just so I can get the car out and then I'll put it back in the packaging so I can actually hang it on display. Um, yeah, thought that was pretty nice. That's the back of it there if you'd like to read it. There was only this one available. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any others. But, what do you see here? Yes, we got some premium stuff. 
wasn't able to get the entire set, but I was very happy to get this particular car, the Mazda RX-3. Very, very happy to find this. Love all the details on this. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic card art. I'm still trying to collect all of the Fast and Furious cars that have been released, but haven't been able to complete the set, so I'm still trying to find a lot of the older stuff. And the first range with the uh, this Brian Skyline in it. Uh, don't have this, don't have this, but I was able to find these three today. So, very happy for that. Here we have the Nissan Fail 80Z. Cool card art. That's just so cool. Very cool. It's gunmetal grey with black graphics over the top. Just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, let's go down here. Was able to find these though. Found a pair of these. These were the, these were the entire selection on the entire rack of cars. Just these four. So I had to buy all four of them. That's so cool. So low. I just love how well they've been detailing these new Hot Wheels Premium cars. They've been doing them absolute justice. Really like that. When I get the entire set, I will open them up. I'm not going to open up just one, even though it is a double. I'm going to wait until I get the entire an entire set before I open that. Same as with these ones. I was only able to find these two cars, but that was perfectly fine because one of the main cars that I wanted was this car. The 70 Oldsmobile 442 in the Baja Bruiser livery. That's just so cool. Great artwork there too. Here's a quick look at the back. The Grand Wagoneer. I'd love to get that too. Obviously I really want that. Um, and that'd be nice too. I'll probably end up finding that before that. <laughs> or that. But that's so cool. If, it, if you actually see that, it does look really nice. And there's something stuck to that. I don't know what that was. But yeah. Really nice. Spectral Flame style, style red or like a candy red with yellow detailing. Fantastic. Really like that. Then we have the 1980 Dodge Macho Power Wagon. Couldn't believe I actually found this. I thought this would have been the first one to be scalped. But no. I actually found it. Even though it was only the two, two cars that I found completely on the peg and that was it. Still pretty happy to find the two which are probably going to be the hardest ones to find other than the uh, Volkswagen. I, I'm really not going to hold my breath to find that. It'd be cool if I did, but I just know what my area is like. And the last two cars to top off a mystery box is Scooby-Doo and Toy Story. I'm going to go to this one first. Scooby-Doo is one of my absolute favourite cartoons growing up. They've, made, they've remade it a few times now, and each time I've sat and watched it. Like, I'll still watch it today if I catch it on the weekends being played. I'll still happily laugh away at the cartoons. Doesn't tell you what series these are in, but this was also the series which had the, uh, the Xbox Ford Raptor and the Punisher van, and there's also a Beatles Yellow Submarine, which... There was there was hundreds of those on the on the shelf. I didn't want it, didn't really want it, but I'll get it and do a review on it. But there you go. Mystery Machine. Yes, it's exactly the same as the last release that they did a few years ago. Just the card art is different. And then this one, <laughs> wow. Toy Story RC car. Little radio controlled car. Absolutely tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. You see the eyeballs on the front there. Just a very, very cool car. Well, quite a lot of good stuff, I'd have to say. I don't, I don't usually get this good luck. Let me try and set these up a little bit so you can actually see them before we sign off. That's pretty much everything. Sand that up there. That brings us to the end of another fantastic episode. I hope you all enjoyed. 
go out, find yourself something cool, tell me what I should be looking for in the comments below. And until next time, happy collecting, and I'll see you then. Bye.